Welcome to Mini Book Plus Art. My name is Yamari Rivera, and I manage outreach and family programs at the Norton Museum of Art. And I'm here with... Hi, my name is Marissa Montesino, and I'm from the Palm Beach County Library System. I'm also here today with my friend Amber Denise, who is also from the Palm Beach County Library System. This is Mini Book Plus Art Virtually, a program that takes place at the library as part of our library partnership. We read a book in English and in Spanish, and we relate it to a work of art from the Norton Museum of Art. Today's book is Beyond the Great Mountains, a visual poem about China by Ed Young. I will be reading in English, and Yamari will be reading in Spanish. My other friend Amber will be signing it. Beyond the Great Mountains, a visual poem by Ed Young. Más allá de las grandes montañas. Un poema visual de la China de Ed Young. Beyond the Great Mountains. Más allá de las grandes montañas. Far to the east, a vast fertile plain. Lejos al este, una vasta y fertil llanura. In its sky, mist rose and fell. Rainwater gathered, river cascading. En su cielo, la neblina elevó y cayó. Agua de la lluvia acumulándose en el frío en cascada. Down cliffs and boulders, through valleys, into fields. Por cantilados y rocas, atravesando valles, entre campos. As sun, moon kept watch, earth gave birth. Como el sol, la luna vigilaba, la tierra Dio a luz. Two sprouts above, metal below. Brotando arriba, metal abajo. Trees of hanging grains, corn, wheat, millet, and rice. Árboles de granos colgantes, maíz, trigo, Mijo y arroz. In winter's ice, summer's fire, more plants flourished. En el hielo del invierno, el fuego de verano, florecieron más plantas. One of drooping leaves, bamboo, or even road leek. Una de hojas caídas, bambú, de semejantes caminos, puero. Another of sprawling vines, squash, or fuzzy stems, hemp. Otras enredaderas desramadas, calabaza, de peludos tallos, cañamón. To the west, where birds roost, a rock of wonder, salt, was found. Al oeste, donde descansan las aves, una roca maravillosa, sal fue encontrada. To the south, rice fermented into wine. Al sur, arroz fermentando en vino. A precious stone embraced heaven and earth, jade. Una piedra preciosa abrazó el cielo y la tierra, jade. 
This was Middle Empire China. Este era el Imperio Medio China. Be open to inspiration. Inspiration leads to creativity. Ábrete a la inspiración. La inspiración te lleva a la creatividad. Be open to play. In play, we see mistakes as stepping stones to fulfillment. Ábrete a jugar. En el juego vemos errores como escalones a la realización. Be open to challenges. Challenges offer us a chance to grow. Ábrete a retos. Retos nos ofrecen la oportunidad a crecer. Be open to work. It is in the willingness to labor that we mature and find excellence. Ábrete al trabajo. Es en la buena voluntad de laboral que maduramos y encontramos excelencia. Thank you for joining today's reading. I hope you enjoyed Beyond the Great Mountains, a visual poem about China. Now, let's look at some art. Let's go on a visual journey as we explore a Chinese hanging scroll that is nearly 500 years old. The name of this work of art is Taoist Immortals Playing Wei Qi in the Autumn Mountains. Let your eyes examine the scroll slowly, moving from the bottom to the top, looking at every brush stroke and every detail. Experience the entire painting. Focus on the three figures. What are they doing? The artist has painted the three star lords, the Taoist gods of happiness, high salary or prosperity, and long life. Taoism is a type of belief or a way of thinking about life. The two are playing in the ancient strategy game of Wei Qi, while the third observes. In the West, the game is called Go. This simple game dates back to more than 2,500 years in ancient China and is enjoyed by children and adults today. Where are they playing? The artist has placed the immortals in a natural setting with trees and soaring mountains. In Chinese belief, people have a deep connection to nature. In this painting, each natural element has a special meaning. Now, can you find the stamps on the scroll? Most Chinese paintings have small red stamps with a special design, like a signature. These seals are used to mark important documents, pieces of art, and contracts. Typically, they're carved out of stone and dipped into red ink. Both artists and collectors put their seals on their work of art. Chinese painting collectors add their seals to create a record of the work in their collections. This scroll is part of the Norton Museum of Art's Chinese collection. We decided to discuss this work of art today because just like Beyond the Great Mountains by Ed Young, the Hanging Scroll is a visual poem exploring Chinese culture. Now, I invite you to check out our homemade Chinese seal art activity on Norton From Home. Thanks for joining us.